Hello, good evening, and welcome to the premiere of Anikolapo, where we'll be having interviews with the cast of the movie, directors, producers, as well as other celebrities in the Nollywood industry. This is QED TV, and I am Temitokbo Jojai. Stick with us. <laughs> Anikulapo, can you tell us what comes to your mind? Well, um, a celebration and display of culture. That's what actually came to my mind when I heard Anikulapo. And of course, it's something very good to see our culture being, uh, you know, celebrated this much. I'm excited to see it. I am scared of heights. I'm scared of water. Kuli Afalaya put me on the mountain top. And it made me walk in the ocean with my bare feet. Crocodile could have carried me away, but thank God I'm here now. These are stories that will not only entertain but also document our history and our culture, heritage, our beliefs. I just want people to see a great film. That's it. Now we've got a lot of deep, deep stories. You know, we've seen Game of Thrones, we've seen Thor, we've seen a lot of things. This is the first time we are seeing something like that from our own angle. I'm proud to be a part of it anyway. <laughs> It's such a powerful um, story, it's a folk tale, and it's, um, there's so much morals in it, so yeah, at the end of the day. The whole world we thought, we go, we go what that's like because of what I'm going to see. Uh, the language I spoke, the Yoruba, proper, proper dialect, my first time. So that was it. No, but and I'm also watching out for Omoumi, that's Kunle Afanayo's daughter. So her debut was an actor and she did amazing and I can't wait for the world to see her. And I want to see like, I, we acted together but I can't wait to see like what it looked like in front of the camera. We have to sooner or later return to our authentic African stories. And Anikola Ko is one of the best. Go to the, they should go to the cinema and also tune to Netflix on the 30th of September.